There are three methods of connecting your anti-static wrist strap to ground. The first is to connect onto the case of the computer itself. The second is to clip onto the lug at the back of the anti-static mat. The third is to simply clip onto the anti-static mat at the front. I prefer this method because it gives you more length on your cable. Power on the computer to make sure that it works. You should see that the power indicator light has lit up now. Also, check to make sure that the optical drive has power by ejecting the tray. You should also notice that the power will turn on on the monitor and that you should get some kind of video display. Your system may or may not have an operating system on it. If it does, just shut the system down. Carefully move the monitor, keyboard, and mouse to the upper part of the bench so that it's out of your way. Please make sure that there's nothing under the monitor if you put it screen side down. Turn off the switch on the power supply and remove all of the cables from the back of the computer tower. Lay the case on its side and remove the two screws that secure the side cover to the case, if there are any. Lift up the two locking mechanisms and slide the side cover back until you can lift it off the case. Set the side cover underneath your bench so that it's not going to be a tripping hazard. Before removing the screws that hold the power supply in place, remember to remove all of the power cables coming from the power supply to any of the parts on the computer, like the optical disk drive, the hard drive, and the motherboard. If you're new to working on computers, make sure that you document where all of the cables were plugged into before you disconnect anything. Use a screwdriver to remove the four screws on the power supply. Please remember to disconnect your anti-static wrist strap if you are not easily within reach of a screwdriver. Once the screws on the power supply are removed, Slide the power supply slightly forward until it's free. You may then need to rotate the power supply slightly until it can come out of the case. Be very careful when removing it from the case so that you do not drop the power supply on the motherboard. Now that your power supply is out, you're ready to test it. The digital multimeter we're going to use to take our voltage measurements has four terminals on it. One for high current, another one for low current, the common, and one for voltage and impedance. Plug the black lead into the common terminal of the digital multimeter. Now plug the red lead into the voltage terminal on the digital multimeter. Now that you've safely removed the power supply from the case, remove your anti-static wrist strap. Check to make sure that the power switch is turned off on the power supply and plug in the power cord. Turn the power switch back on on the power supply and use a jumper wire to short pin 16 to one of the black wires on either side of it. You should now see that the fan is spinning. Set the dial on the multimeter to volts DC. Insert the black lead from the multimeter into the wire side of pin 3 on the P1 connector. You can now use the red probe to probe all of the contact points on the P1 connector to take their voltage measurements. Once you finish taking all of your measurements, turn the multimeter back to the off position. Turn the main switch on the power supply off, disconnect all of your connections, and reinstall the power supply into your case. To reinstall your power supply, carefully put it back into the case and make sure that all four holes line up properly.
Install the four screws, but make sure you don't over tighten them. Now reconnect all of the power cables to the devices that you unplugged them from. While you're at it, check to make sure that any other cables didn't get unplugged accidentally when you're removing the power supply. The SATA cables for the optical drive and the hard drive do tend to become unplugged quite easily. It's usually easiest to put the side cover back on when the PC is still laying on its side. Now that the side cover is back on, stand your PC back up, connect all the cables at the back and turn on the switch on the power supply. Then test it. 